high school rivals in northwest South Dakota have now come together to create a brand new football team. However, these two schools are over 50 miles apart. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Sydney Thorson talks with coaches and players about how this big commitment is helping both teams play a sport they love. After realizing eight players would not be enough for a team this year, Bison High School made the decision to reach out to Harding County Schools. I kind of wish we'd have done it a couple of years ago. Uh, you know, when you have a lack of student athletes on the field, it's hard on them when you have no bench to bring people in to give people breaks. You know, in hindsight, we probably should have done this several years ago. Former Bison head coach Charlie Harpster says while the two high schools have been rivals in the past, the Harding County Schools welcomed the football players with open arms. It's been a little bit to get used to wearing the purple and gold, you know, but you know, the kids love football and that's all we need to worry about is we needed a place to play and, and Harding County was more than welcoming to have us come join them, so that was the important thing. After co-oping with the Harding County High School football team, Bison High School went from a team of eight players to now 31. It shows our freshmen what we need to be in the next couple years and that we have competition to actually play. Um, we don't have eight kids on the team and just have our coach pick. We have to participate and uh, put in the work to be able to play. The Bison players will practice at home Monday, then travel to Buffalo every other day of the week. The trip takes them about an hour, sometimes longer. It definitely pushes us harder in school with homework wise because we leave, we don't have a last period. We only got like 15, 20 minutes in our last period, so definitely need to stay on top of our stuff in school. They have to be real conscious of the fact that they are missing a little bit of school time and they need to make sure that their school comes first and they keep their grades up. These eight freshmen from Bison aren't the only ones benefiting from this new team. Having the extra numbers, is, it's allowed us to play two or three more JV games this year, so it's going to help our freshman kids out, their freshman kids, and there's two or, two or three kids of theirs that are, as freshmen, getting time on varsity and helping us out on special teams and offensively and defensively. With more players, both teams are able to do more drills involving contact in practice. If anyone is hurt or worn out, more players will have an opportunity to jump in. I think it's going to make us more of a threat, more numbers, more kids is always a good thing, more practice. It's just going to bring everything together. Senior Cade Martin from Harding County High School says these new players are bringing more than just numbers. Then you get to have friends from different towns and everything and brings two communities together. With the old rivalry aside, both schools have high hopes for the new team's future. I think they're all excited to be able to be playing and joining our tradition and our team and we're all coming together and making one heck of a football team hopefully down the road. They're already looking into the future at what we could be doing, you know, not only this year but in the years to come. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Sydney Thorson. 50 miles, that's a commitment. Coaches for the Harding County Buffalo football team say for games, the two high schools will usually coordinate where the game is and pick the players up or meet them there. The two high schools are just co-oping for football. All other sports are currently separate.